Hello, my name is Dal Henning, and I'm going to be a junior this fall in nuclear engineering and radiological sciences. This summer, I had the opportunity to work um, under the sponsoring professor of Dr. Michael Hartman in the Neutron Science Laboratory alongside of fellow nuclear engineering student Matt Ryans. The title of um, the project we will be what we've worked on is called the slowing down process of the DD generated fast neutrons traveling through water and LDPE moderators. It is a very long title, but I assure you that through this presentation, you will get to learn a little bit more about my research, and I'll probably understand it better too. <laughs> the location where we have been conducting our research is the Neutron Science Laboratory, which is in the basement of the Naval Architecture Building. There can there are two generators that are within the building that one of them would I be using. The D711 DT neutron generator shoots out neutrons at approximately 14 um, mega electron volts and the MP320 DD generator shoots them out at 2.45 uh, mega electron volts. I will be using the DD generator in, in the future. The objective of our, of our research is to create and run an experiment that can be used in class to help NERS students understand the slowing down process of neutrons from fast energies to thermal or slow energies through different mediums. Our whole entire project starts with the DD neutron generator. What happens inside the generator is that two deuterium atoms are fused together in a fusion reaction. After the result of the reaction is that a new particle is formed and a neutron is shot out from um, the impact. The neutrons, as I said before, have a average speed of 2.45 MeVs, which is approximately 5% the speed of light. Moderators. The materials that we are using are water and LDPE, or low density polyethylene. And the idea behind the moderators is that the, some of the neutrons that are shot out of our neutron generator will hit the moderator and bounce off the atoms that are within the moderator. The first type of neutrons uh, that, that, we have, that I have shown come into no contact with any of the atoms within and therefore shoot straight through the material. And those are fast neutrons. The idea of having a moderator, though, is that as they hit atoms, they lose energy and transfer it into the nucleus of the other atoms. So in number, number two, we have a few atoms that have collided with the neutron and have taken some of the energy away. So the atoms of the neutrons of number two have slowed down partially. Many more collisions are necessary in order for the neutrons to slow down to what we consider thermal energies, which are approximately one electron volt or less, which is about a million times less the speed. Detector. The idea of the detector is that some of the neutrons that end up going through the moderator will be able to hit our detector uh, approximately a, mi a meter away. And what happens is that when the neutrons come into contact with the detector, some of the energy is absorbed in, in the atoms of the detector and those atoms shoot out photons or that can be used to calculate and record the speeds or energies of those neutrons. So how I started with the project was that my professor said, here's some reading, you need to learn the science because a lot of the students ahead of me um, who've already finished their juniors and senior years know the science, but I had a great opportunity to do this before I even had taken most of my science classes involving nuclear engineering. From learning the science, uh, I read a few of the books, and the general gist of what the graphs are supposed to end up looking like is given on your right. The energy increases from left to right, and flux is just um, the number of neutrons that are traveling through an area per amount of time. The first section of the graph covers neutrons that have reached thermal energies below one electron volt. The second section of the graph are those neutrons that have come into a few collisions but are not down to thermal energies. And those are between the initial energy of 2.45 MeVs and the thermal energies of one electron volt. The last region is the spike that consists of neutrons that have not collided at all and have had their initial energies kept. 
The second part of the program that uh, we have can work right with is the Monte Carlo N particle transportation code. It's a, basically a computer program that we can use to set up a 3D model of the experiment. Projects, the, it projects the results of the experiment based on Monte Carlo method. Using the computer program, these are the projected results, and comparing them to what we are expecting from the textbooks, they seem to be quite similar. The last part is running the experiment. A computer will collect and organize the data received from our detectors, and we are hoping that the data that is, is recorded will be similar to the previous graphs. Currently, we have not run the experiment, but we will be doing so later this month. The goals are to create a lab that nurse students can use to compare experimental data to the expected theoretical results and the projection of the MC and P code. By comparing the actual experimental data to our textbooks and the computer program, we can gauge the accuracy of these non-experimental methods and learn if we can depend on these things for future projects that are similar. Our experiment will be turned into a lab that future nurse students will be able to use. And they'll be able to see the slowing down process of neutrons and how it is affected by using different materials and varying the temperatures of those materials. My name is Dal Henning. This is a project that I've been working on summer 2009 for the SURE program. I will be beginning my junior year, and I hope to achieve uh, 3.5 in order to enter the ESCAS program, which is the one-year master's that follows up the four-year bachelor degree here at the University of Michigan. I'd like to obtain my master's degree and perhaps a doctorate, depending on uh, future career fields that I'm interested in. Thank you very much.